Welcome again. In this uh, lecture we will deal with one of the most important notions, namely the notions of bike simulation, and we will give its official definition. So assume we have a transition system given, then we say that a particular relation R that relates uh, states is a bike simulation relation if and only if, if it relates to states like this, S and T, and we can do an A step from S, then it should be possible to mimic that from T, like this. You can have uh, more choices, but the choice you select at the right hand side should be such that the endpoints are again related by R. In uh, definition, it's like this. If S can do an A step to S prime, for some state S prime, then there should be a state T prime, such that there is also a transition from T to T prime, such that S prime and T prime are again related by R. The definition of bi simulation also uh, allows uh, it to check from the other side, or well, uh, obliges you to check the other side. So if we can do a step from T, so if we have two states that are related, we can do a step from T, uh, then it should be possible to mimic that by S, uh, from S such that the endpoints are again related. And in a formal definition, this looks like this. So if you can do a step from t to t prime, then you should be able to mimic that by doing an a step from s to s prime, such that s prime and t prime are again related. We also have to deal with termination. So Suppose we have two states, S and T, that are related. If one can terminate, indicated by this tick symbol, then the other side should also terminate. And if you have the same, but uh, one side cannot terminate, then the other side should also not be able to terminate. And this is expressed by the following, namely, if S is an element of the terminating states, then, and only then, T should also be a member of the terminating states. Now, when are two states bisimilar? Well, if we have two states S and T, and we can find a bisimulation relation R that relates them, then we say that these two states are bisimilar. And we use this uh, typical notation for that with a double arrow that is underlined. And if we have two transition systems, we say that the two transition systems are related if the initial states are related. Okay, let's see whether we can apply this to some examples. So consider these two transition systems and uh, we want to prove them by similar. So what we have to show is that there is a bisimulation relation that relates the initial state. So assume we have such an arbitrary relation, we relate the initial states, and what we will try is we will ex extend this transition relation over all transitions, of over all states, and see whether it satisfies the uh, properties of bisimulation. So if we have an A-step at the left, then it should be possible to do an A-step at the right, and the endpoint should be related as indicated here. And now, suppose that the states in the middle are related. If we have a B step uh, at the right side, then it should be possible to mimic that at the left side. So uh, it should also be the case that these two states are related. And similarly, if we look at the states in the middle and we do the C step at the left, then it should be possible to mimic that by a C step. And so this enforces this these two states to be related. And what we can see is that for all pairs of states, uh, the properties of the definition of bisimulations are satisfied. And this means that we now found a proper bisimulation relating the initial states. And so we can say that the initial states are related. So here we have another example. Uh, you probably recognize this example. This is the example of the princess and the dragon, so they should not be related. But how can we find that out? 
Well, we do that as follows. We relate the initial states again. And we attempt to show that this relation R is actually by simulation relation. Uh, and we will ultimately figure out that that cannot be the case. So uh, what's extremely useful is that you look at the non-deterministic side, at the left side, and you do an A-step. So assume that we do an A-step to the state with the outgoing B. And then we can try to mimic that with the A-step at the right. And that means that if the initial states are related, then these two states should also be related. Um, and what we can now see is that if these two states are related, then we can actually do a C step at the right, but we cannot mimic that at the state at the left. So these two states cannot be related, but we had to relate these states if the initial two st states were related. So that means that also the initial states cannot be related. And this means that there cannot be a bisimulation relation that relates the initial states, and that means the initial states are not bisimilar. There's a very nice property of bisimulation equivalence, and that is the following. Namely, every transition system that you have has a unique minimal transition system that belongs to it. And the uh, use of this is the following. If we have a big transition system, we calculate this minimal transition system, and then we store all the behavior in this minimal object. So let's look at an example. Uh, here, we have a transition system that can do five A's and then repeats itself again. And what you can imagine is that this transition system can do typically the behavior of doing an infinite number of A's. Well, there is a much simpler transition system, namely this one, that can also do an infinite number of A's. And this is actually the unique minimal transition system that is bisimilar to the transition system at the left. How can we prove that? Well, very straightforwardly, we have to sh find a, a bisimulation relation that relates the states from the transition system at the left with the state from the transition system at the right, and we should show that they satisfy the properties of a bisimulation relation. Uh, and this is actually the relation. So we relate all the states at the left with the state at the right. Okay, let's see whether you can do this yourself. Uh, let's look at, this, uh, at these two transition systems. And the question to you is, can you prove or disprove that these two transition systems are bisimilar? A second exercise. Here we have uh, these two transition systems. They are obviously not exactly equal, but are they actually bisimilar? And a final exercise. So recall this alarm clock. Uh, we have this behavior of the alarm clock where uh, the alarm could sound only once. Here we have the behavior of the alarm clock where the, behave, where, the, where the alarm can sound infinitely often. And the question is, are these two bisimilar? Or more precisely, is the left state off bisimilar to the right state off? The left state on bisimilar to the right state on? And are the initial states, uh, or is, are, the, are the alarm clocks bisimilar? Okay, what have we done? We have uh, defined precisely bisimulation or strong bisimulation. Uh, both names are being used. And we have shown how you can, for simple examples, prove or disprove that these transition systems are actually bisimilar. Thank you for watching. Next lecture will deal with trace equivalence.